Ladies and gentlemen. I kind of I want to mix up the intro a little bit. Like Oh, Crater Hoof. God, we've had such bad luck with green, but maybe Crater Hoof's what we want. I don't know, man. Yeah, like, if you're going to come up to my window and look inside, at least follow her sub. That's the least you can do. Crater Hoof. Hoof, hoof. Hoof, hoof, baby. Yeah, we're going to just Crater Hoof. Katie, you want to draft this for me? You can, you can make the picks, tell me what to pick, and I'll just pick all the cards you say. Uh, I think it's Nissa. Snake? Oh, man, I said Nissa. Dang. Nissa does make tokens. That's what I'm leaning towards. I'm like, ooh, Nissa makes tokens for this fat, for this fat daddy. Nissa? Nice. <laughs> to be fair, this is probably not sustainable, this, uh, this selection method. Oh, dang it. And then we got not a single green card in this pack other than Assassin's Trophy? That's some, that's some trash. I could see taking Everflowing Chalice. How'd the last deck go? We surprisingly went two one. I'm okay with it. Two one is like my the ideal record because like I think three is a little much to ask for, especially with all the variants in cube. Two one is just perfect because you get your you get your play points back, and that's like it's basically just breaking even, you know. So it's like a free. I don't like double red pyromancer. I'd rather take assassin's trophy because it's one black, or it's one green rather, <laughs> or just take everflowing chalice. So. Eh, whatever you want. Oh, man. Oh, man, the pressure. I'm just taking Everflowing Chalice. Oh, Corsair of Crufix? Corsair of Crufix. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. Casting crater hoofs all day. Oh, oh Corsair? Nice. God, I'm so proud of you. Oh, well, look at this. Look at this fat. It's nice because, like, there's very few green cards in these packs, but also, like, they're good enough to take. Look at this. Look at this fat, fat idiot. So, in order of my my preferences, it definitely goes Crater Hoof uh, in eight drops. It goes Crater Hoof, uh, Woodfall Primus, then Terastodon, because I never want to give my opponent's creatures. And I also never want to kill my own lands. I'm going to take the Terastodon and hope that, hope that we're on the same page here. I mean, it could take... Think about Mimic Vat in the green decks. Because there's always someone's like, take Mimic Vat. I'm like, you don't have any way to kill creatures in the green decks. So you have really no control over what goes under the Mimic Vat. But I have a special place in my heart for Cloud Goat. Oh, well, it's double white, though. So I can appreciate the Terrastin on here over the Cloud Goat Ranger. I want to hear about this special place in your heart for, for Cloud Goat Ranger. Because I don't think I knew that. Oh, just in general, not... Yeah, I didn't... <laughs> not in relation to this draft. Yeah, no, I didn't think... I didn't think this specific draft uh, was why you'd have that connection in your heart. That'd be strange. I'd be like, wow, that's really specific. I don't even know how that got there. You know what movie I need to see again? I need to see Logan again. Renin 6. That's interesting. Cast out is interesting. Are we getting cut off on green? I don't know. We I don't know if we could, because clearly that person doesn't have Crater Hoof Behemoth, so. Um Steam Vents and a Blood Crypt, both very, very nice. Daniel Johnston. I don't know who that is. Hold on. Let me Google who that is. For some reason, that name's not super familiar to me. I'm just gonna take Cast Out, I guess. Oh, all right. Well, Voice of Resurgence seems good if we're taking. Ah, Sakura Traveler. I'm like, ah, Sakura Traveler. Wow, Mr. Indie Band doesn't know who Daniel. Jo wow, that's messed up. I don't. I don't tout myself as like some Indian indie champion. Okay, I kind of do, but that's not. That's not.
You like voiceover tri builder? All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna default to your to your expertise. Ooh, temple garden. We're definitely taking temple garden here. Katie, I should Skype you in, and we can do a we can do a cube draft together. Oh, I oh El Eladomri's call is interesting. We can just search for Crater Hoof. Also, Virtuous Gearhook is a card I have a lot of success with. I always think it's very, very good whenever I get it. Oh man, Eladomri's call or Virtuous Gearhook. Jeez. I mean you can just search for Crater Hoof. God. At instant speed no less? I think it's gotta be call. It just gives you so much, so much, so much play. And you can get like, oh, you, oh, Gear Hulk, dang it. Biscuits. You gotta, we gotta, we gotta be a little quicker. You gotta wake up faster in the morning. That's not a, that's not a saying. You gotta wake up earlier. Is it wake up earlier? You gotta wake up earlier than that. I don't know. I just work here. And I'll zoop 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 -dee 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 You do work here, that's true. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. Thalia? Thalia's very good. Mirren Crusader? Is this the collected company deck we've been looking for? Do we just try to collected company and get a bunch of things? I think it's better than these two. It's terrible. It's all terrible. All right. Well, we'll see it. Coco, please don't do it. Okay. Well, you guys are you guys are clearly in agreement here. <laughs> Piggy, show me your teeth. <laughs> show me your teeth. Oh lord. Tireless Tracker and Woodfall Primus? I mean, we don't need Woodfall Primus with this sick mana base, right? Oh, God. Just three. Not bad. Not bad. I think it's Tireless Tracker. Yeah, if Woodfall Promise, Banishing Light, Celestia Signet, if any of those come back, I'll be grateful for it. Tracker seems fine. Okay, I feel like now you're just approving my picks. You're like, yeah, that's fine. I'll allow it. Jiraga Tree Speaker. 100% Jiraga Tree Speaker. 100%. Maybe this Oblivion Ring or this Search comes back? Prismatic Vista, also fine. Chatty Tree? What is... Chatty, chatty, chatty. I have no idea what you're saying. Soul Ring is correct. Uh, that was neither Mike B or Hunter. There are more people in this house than that. Well, when there's not much of a choice, what am I supposed to say? There was a ton of choices in that pack. You're re Let's just change direction and go carry us because he's a boss. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Um, I'm going to take... Silverblade Paladin. It was Lady Turtle sneeze. <laughs> wow, can you imagine if a turtle sneezed that loudly? That would be hilarious. Actually, Gowdy Township's good for this deck. Especially with Nissa. Kerwit, what's going on, my dude? What is going on, my dude? Get that turtle on the stream. <sighs> I really like Silverblade Paladin. All right, if you like Township over Paladin, I'm in. Ooh, Rampaging Baloth or Mana Gorger or Steel Leaf Champion or Tristani. This is a lot of options. I want a three drop. 
I kind of want Steely for Mana Gorger just so I can uh, keep Collected Company going. I think it's Steel Leaf. Mana is good. Actually, Mana is really good. Easier to cast than Steel Leaf. I always enjoy Jalicious Tristana. Yeah, do you get the... What, which one do you get? The cheese or the pepperoni? You think Steel Leaf or Mana Gorger? Man, I knew you were going to say that. I think this card gets really out of hand. I'll take the Steel Leaf at your recommendation, m'lady. Um... Tithe Taker or Rattleclaw? I think it's Rattleclaw. I think it's Rattleclaw. But I think Tristani were both, but a third drop. I like the third drop because of the Collected Company. And we're trying to make the Collected Company work. We're trying so hard. Rattleclaw uh, for the same reason, I think. I'm going to put him over here. Milady just made me vomit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, Windswept Heath or Plow Under? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, or Fairgrounds Warden. Actually, Fairgrounds Warden's not bad either. Because of Collective Company. We might just want the Heath, especially because Heath gets us Temple Garden. It's really good. Heath, Plow, Plow, Heath is what we have so far. I love I love and hate Plow at the same time. Same same plow is a warden or he i'm gonna go heath then i'm i'm heathing it up blood braid elf reflecting pool i think it's just reflecting pool we get a Woolamog. i don't think we have the ramp for Woolamog just yet though Woolamog's just gonna sit here and be like hey man i mean we could just pay 11 for a court of calling as well if you're going to say milady you need to get a fedora and make your beard super patchy oh those patchy beards those that's something hey man oh was this uh are you just <laughs> oh you're insulted about my ulamog uh don't don't <laughs> i like you say don't encourage him like i'm always asking him like hey would you mind if i made my beard real patchy and you're like no stop asking and i'm like okay hey can i make my beard real patchy and you're like no <clears throat> This land, this, these are a bunch of good lands in this pack. We're actually, I think we're fine on lands. This pack is amazing for us, and I wish one of these cards would come back, but of course there's eight exactly, so one, two, three, four, five, six of these eight cards would be great. I think it's Thorn Lieutenant, because two drops. Oh, wow, Woodfall Primus and Banishing Light came back. Ah, boy. Like you're all embarrassed about having a full beard and a kid at a bus stop with a patchy beard made funny. <laughs> so you go home and shave it. And you're like, eh, I'm just going to get rid of these. I'm just going to get rid of some of these. Oh, God. Just get rid of here. Let's get it out of here. Why is your beard so patchy? Don't, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, wow. The Oblivion Ring and the Remorseful Cleric and the Search for Mark came back. I mean, we're looking good for a, for a collected company deck, actually. Oh, wow. Silverblade Paladin came back. Trostani came back? Oh, boy. Tithe Taker came back? This is like the best Banishing Light, or the best Collected Company deck I've ever drafted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 hits right now already. And then we have things like Trostani and uh, Crater Hoof Behemoth. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Elspeth? Oh no, I just saw it now. Dang it. What did I take over it? What did I take over Elspeth? What did I take? Um, I think it was Thor Lieutenant. Oh god, I'm so excited. I mean, this deck is turning out quite well. I like Vivian Reed a lot. Probably more than Knight of the Reliquary, and I guarantee you Knight will come back. I'm going to say Vivian Reed. That would be my, my preference. And I bet either Glorybound or Knight of the Reliquary come back. So, I'm going to say Vivian Reed. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts. Is Tristani an appetizer or an Amu's Boosh? Um, uh, the, if, if Thragtus comes back, that would be incredible. 
I like a Razor Verge that could just fix the mana a little bit. I don't care about any of these other greener. Oh, actually, Sun Titan with the with the insane amount of three and two drops in this deck. It's got to be Sun Titan here. This Razor Verge thing is coming back for sure. No one gives a shit about that. Sun Titan is sweet. I love it. I love it. Oh. Breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart here. I like Treasure Map. I also like Adanto Vanguard. <laughs> well, I guess we're blue now. Oh, biscuits. Vanguard's fine. I don't like Den Protector. I never want to hit it. Wolf of War, what's going on? Glad to see you. I like Dismember. I actually kind of like Dismember too. It's always such a... It's, Dismember's such a weird card because I'm like, well, it's a black card, but I don't have that... Uh, I think we're a little lower curve than Duplicant, but I do love a Duplicant. I'll take the Dismember. I'm all right with it. Oh, Phyrexian Metamorph? Also, Nullhide Phyrex, Whisperwood Elemental. Remember that time our opponent condemned us? We were like, attack with an 8-8 figure of Destiny, and they're like, no, nah, don't do that. And I was like, oh no. And they got us. That's because the formats Den Protector rotates into have better cards. I'm pretty sure it's just Metamorph here. I don't think Kithian is actually uh, an option. Thalia? We could have double Thalia. This deck seems great with double Thalia. And watch that Sun Petal Grove come back. Alright. We're taking Thalia. History of Benalia? Oh, and Rex Sage. Oh, I like Rex Sage a lot because we can hit it off of Collected Company. How's our Collected Company looking at? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 hits is pretty good. Have you checked to see if Woodwick Candles will sponsor this stream? <laughs> no, I have not done so yet. I have not done so, but that's, that's a good reminder. Hey, Woodwick Candles, can you... Send me free candles, and I'll actually burn them on stream. It's either Rex Sage or History. History is so good, but it doesn't really go with Collected Company, whereas Rex Sage is super nice to hit. I actually don't hate Windbrisk Kites here. I like having Rex Sage more, though. Overrun? Maybe we just want to overrun. This deck really doesn't strike me as a bad... O oh, I like I liked History too, actually. We can hit other things with Collective Company. Yeah, you know, your point is valid. I, uh... I, I agree with you. 100%. I just got... I just wanted to make so sure that it was like... That we had enough, you know? Oh, God. Is it Loxodon or Staff of Man? Have I told you how much I love Domri? I don't think so. I don't think so. I stopped playing Magic in 2002 and came back in 2014. Reaping Wild Oats, that's quite a break. But like everyone else, you came back, so that's the important part. Glory Bound Initiate came back. That's also important. Razor Verge Thicket came back. I'm going to put this in the sideboard. Adanto Vanguard came back. All right. Kithian came back. All right. Sun Petal and Honor of the Fury came back. We don't think we have enough white. I'm just going to take the Sun Petal Grove so we have, like, literal all of the green-white lands. Heath, Temple Garden, Razor Verge, Thicket, Sun Petal Grove. The only thing we're missing is, um... Uh... Storing Wildwood. Nailed it. Your mom? Um, actually, Ben, we were missing, uh, the, the DN land. Thank you. Amp, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I wonder if we take out Crater Hoof and just play Overrun? Can we get away with 16 lands in this deck somehow? Oh, the DN land? The DN land was the D's Nuts, D's Nuts land. That's what it was. That's the one we're missing, yeah. That was a good one. 
Who do you think you are? <gasps> pretty, 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 pretty good. We're the only white drafters in this entire pod. <laughs> That's insane. Wow. Second to last pick. History of Banalia? Get out of here. This looks like the best collected company deck we could have had. This deck looks fantastic. I'm gonna board I'm gonna board this in if I need it. I don't even know if I care about Draga Tree Speaker. And I think Overrun might just be better than Crater Hoof here. Yeah, we have like 17 hits for Sun Titan. Including a windswept teeth. So <sighs> Eladomery's call is nice, but if we take out Sun if like we can take out these two, maybe? God, it feels so weird taking out Crater Hoof. But we do have Overrun. We have Overrun, guys. And, like, we just don't have a way to easily get to 8 mana. And maybe we just play 16 lands here? Because Metamorph is also a 3-drop. I mean, we can't hit it with Collected Company, but... Plus, we have Double Thalia. This deck seems really sweet. It's your boy Tom. What's going on, buddy? I'm a big dumb idiot and don't know how the new cards with adventure or whatever work. Could you explain it to me? If you have a card with adventure, you can cast the adventure and then it gets exiled. And then Thank at any you. point... <laughs> God damn it. 16 might be fine for other people, but you are the unluckiest land drawer I've ever seen. The girlfriend, ladies and gentlemen. Um, okay, so you can cast the card with adventure, then you exile the card. While it's exiled um, through adventure, you can cast the creature whenever you can cast a creature. So you get two spells out of it if you play the adventure first and then you cast the creature. If you cast the creature first, then that's it. It's just a creature. So adventure lets you cast the adventure half before you cast the creature. Because it's kind of like an adventure that the creature is going on, I guess. You know? So hopefully that makes sense. Kerwin with the 18 months. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you. Amped, did I say thank you? I meant to. I'm not sure if I got distracted, but Amped, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. You are awesome. I'm a big dumb idiot. And I don't understand how Bobers work. Could you explain it to me? Thanks. Uh, Bobers, you see. Oh, I guess it would be Bober, right? Bober. I, why, where's the Bober command? A Bober is a very sober scrober. That's that's correct. Also, History of Benalia and Sun Titan is a pretty pretty sweet combo. I'm like, like literally tempted to cut Draga Tree Speaker. Like Draga Tree Speaker on any turn other than one is not great for our deck. And we really like okay, so if you go Tree Speaker on one, pump her on two, it means we can't cast any of these two drops. Right? So we're very restricted on when we pump this. Thank you. And that means on turn three, we'd have five mana, which really doesn't give us a tremendous amount of options. So it's kind of a weird, like, I actually don't love it in this deck. I would rather find a place for Rex Age, to be quite honest. Reaping Wild Oats, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate you. You are awesome, dude. Cool, cool, cool. Got it. Got it. Nice. Um, I think they're better than Student. I think I think Rattleclaw is better than Student because I definitely do want to hit like four mana for, for my four mana stuff. And also Rattleclaw can just uh, potentially let us cast this without taking damage if that's the thing we care about. I do kind of like Rex Age in the deck because we can tutor form if we have a line of Eldomri's call. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is thirteen hits. Is that enough? I might just take Metamorph out. Metamorph is just very good though. All right, we're just gonna play it like this. We'll see if thirteen hits is enough. It's 33% of our deck. And we're looking at six cards, which is... Six and 40. Be five, six, like six and a half. I don't know. Magic's hard. Ah. <sighs> 
Also, Gavany Township's a great a great land to have here. Five five, Pfft, deal. Oh, we get one more. It didn't even add all the lands. What? Also, like Steel Leaf Champion seems like it could be difficult to cast. So I kind of want another white. We also have triple white over triple or uh, another green rather, and we also have triple green overrun. So. Here's a, here's a funny meme that I just stumbled across. If you guys are ready. Are you guys ready for this funny meme? God, I hope you're ready. Bear wanders in the city hall building in California. You can't put a bear on a state flag and then act surprised when it shows up for a town hall meeting. That's true. You can't. All right, we just gotta get hits. We just gotta get the hits. Get him. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Look at this green deck out green decking us. That's just rude. Wow. Fashionably late, my friend. Plow under, ladies and gentlemen. A fair and balanced magic card. Okay, but none of these things are exciting, so I guess that's fine. Tithe Taker is a soldier, unfortunately. Snapcaster Plow. What is this? Seven mana. Six mana Primeval Titan. <sighs> They're gonna put the counters on anyway. <laughs> oh, funsies. Sure. That's good, but it's four mana. Or five mana, rather. A four mana card would be great here, because then we can play one and then another, but... Here comes... Terastodon. Hydroid Crassus for five. Seems good. Do they draw two cards? I guess that's fine. We can literally just Vivian Reed kill that. That seems great. See you later, jellyfish man. I guess we're just attacking here. Like, Vivian Reed can go to one and then we can plus again. That's totally fine. And we got Tristani next turn.
Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, I guess you got land in there. You always got land. Thalia would be nice, but <sighs> definitely not holding back here. At least it's not a fetchy land. Long time viewer, first time chatter. My girlfriend just texted me saying, I'm going to go out on a limb here and guess that you would never allow me to have a pet spider. What do I do? Do I change the locks now or after he buys the spider? I would give her time to buy the spider. And then if it's a tarantula, I would be like, yeah, bring that That same. That sounds sick. Tarantulas are actually super cool pets. Uh, and um, But if it's just like a regular spider, I don't know, man, you're probably... No, it doesn't sound sick. <laughs> Oh, Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. Yeah, tarantulas are just cute fuzzy buggers. That's a great... You're right. Well. We mulliganed into a one... Just block one, I guess, right? What does that do? Did I do anything? No, man, you got it. You got it. Does Overrun do anything here? I don't think so, when they got like six life points here. Okay, not going to go with the homicide option. Oh, God. Solid strategy. Solid strategy. Celestia Signet. Perfect. Beautiful. Also fine. Sure. It's sad. I assume we're just trading for like Thalia or Tireless Tracker. Thalia, huh? Okie dokie. They never run out of lands, do they? Kind of want to bring a Dismember because of Avenger. I'm pretty sure we have Phyrexian Metamorph in the deck. Actually, Overrun might do something now. Greater Hoof definitely would if we were, if we had that dude in the deck. Uh, let's go. Let's go white. Crack this boy. How many township is interesting? Alright, we're not dead yet. 
Not dead yet. Might be dead, actually. If they hit a land, we're probably just dead, right? We wasted two hits on Nissa, so they'd technically be at eight right now. I just don't see that as like. What do two mutagenic growths do? So they're searching for something, and they just hit a forest, so now they definitely have four fives. Hornet Queen, huh? Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, you got it. Do -do 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 you're at 19, dude. Just alpha here. I have no idea what you're saving this Avenger of Zendikar for. Alright, you did it. Okay. Dismember actually seems good because they have Avenger of Zendikar. Crater Hook also seems good. Take out the Overrun and bring in the Crater Hook. Uh, everybody else seems fine. Is Rex Sage, what do they have? Does Rex Sage do anything good? I think that's Worm Coil Engine, I guess. Yeah, I'll keep this. What the hell? What the heck, you know? Let's see what happens. All right, we'll get to try it out at least. This guy. Kodama's reach. Shoot. Do we attack for four here? Do we collect a company and put a bunch of dudes on board? Or do we... I think we can wait. I think we can just deal the two. And we'll see what we, we want based on what they do. Are we crushing or we lost game one because they got much more aggressive than we did. Okay, that's fine. Ain't nobody got time for any of this. Any of this jazz. All right, now we're going to try to live the dream. Oh, we did it. Oh, this is a good, this is a good dream to live. Steel Leaf Champion. <laughs> Probably Voice of, Re Voice of Resurgence, right? Um, any order is fine. This is for Steel Leaf, so I'm going to say yes to that one. And this is for... Alright, we're doing it. Oh, God. 
Yep, you can't block this guy. And he's attacking for 17 million damage. We got three. Solid gone. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Where is your plow under now? Where is it? It's in the garbage can, I bet. I don't actually hate this hand. It's definitely a turn two voice, potentially a turn three steel leaf. I think that's okay. Now it's a turn three steel leaf for sure. Do you know where your plow under is? No one knows. Kodama's reach. God, every time, every time. I'm going to save this in case we... If we need another white, I want to be able to get a second white. But if we draw, like, Razor Verge Thicket or something like that, then... Wow. All right, this is fascinating. I don't know what's happening. Explain it to me. Come on, Razor Verge Thicket. Sun Titan. Because I don't want to be locked out of these two cards. Like, we either play Steel Leaf Champion now, or we play Silver Blade Paladin. We'll never... Make sense? I guess we can sun tighten this, but we gotta hit a second white, right? It's gotta be Steel Leaf Champion here. Nothing can block it. And if we get another white next turn for the Silver Blade Paladin, ooh wee! Uh, God, I don't think it's. I don't think we attack with voice here. That just doesn't seem great. We have a potential creator hoof one day. Six, seven. Here comes Warm Coil. Oh boy. Staff of Nin. Okay. Come on, Collected Company one time into Rex Sage. I don't think we put Rex Sage in the deck. I'll take a Banishing Light too. That seems good. Ha! Huh, collected Company it is. Alright. Well. We did not put Rex Sage in, but we could actually hit. Um... No, we can't hit Metamorph off of this. Never mind. I kind of want to see what we can hit. Hmm. Yeah, we can just wait. me I dare you dig it man everyone shits on staffing in and that's always really good either way our deck performed great last game and I'm super I'm super thrilled about it so oh god What in the earth? This is a tooth and nail? Hydroid Crassus. If we hit Thalia for three, it comes into play tapped. Let's go Tracker, Corsair. That seems good. Any order. Oh, Metamorph on top? Oh, that's a sweet boy. Um, Yeah, that's pretty nice. Please be a white sor mana source under that. Come on, one time. That's that's not even close. That's not even close. Okay, well.
I guess it was probably the island, right? Or the, the Arbor Elf, right? Because it's making two mana. God, Hydroid Crest is problematic. We're basically dead, we're dead in two to the Hydroid Crests. I mean, Ewith Heat, e with Heat with Heath was an option, but I just don't know if that solves our problem. <sighs> yeah, that's annoying. Four, five, six, seven. I, I gave them that by giving. Oh, they actually didn't have to use Arbor Elf, so I didn't. I didn't really do that much. Fetch land. Yeah, they're just winning every game with Avenger of Zendikar, so. Now they play Kodama's Reach that they have in hand. Yeah, unfortunately we know we're drawing history, so we literally have one draw. And I don't even know how to get out of this now, unfortunately. not meant to be, unfortunately. <sighs> Can't beat an Avenger of Zendikar. Yeah, okay. For a deck with so many two drops, we found a two drop. Reflecting Pool is so good. It's definitely one of my favorite. I think I feel like it's one of my favorite, most underrated lands. Guys, what do I have for dinner? I don't know what to have for dinner after this. I could just go get some tacos. I wonder what time they close. I bet they close at 10 on Sunday and I'm not going to be able to make it. Have baked mac and cheese. I stole some baked mac and cheese in the fridge, actually. Choose a card to discard. Uh, I think it's land here. A stoned ham sandwich? I don't even eat ham. Nor do I know what that is. Oh man, I would love to go to White Castle. White Castle sounds like such gas right now. It's a, mar a marijuana joke. I didn't... Stoned ham sandwich. Is it really? Wow. I am completely out of the loop, my friend. I'm gonna go for the throat on your thali ultimate price, Thalia. You got it. Whatever you want to do. If they don't do anything, I'm probably gonna cycle this cast out, because hitting a fifth land and then a sixth land is really good right now. I'm a fan of White Castle since they had Impossible Burgers. And that's really 
where I want to be right now. Have a grilled salmon with a sweet maple marmalade. What the f Good lord, you guys are being real specific and, uh... uh okay. Uh, okay. Fascinating. Uh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good too. Okay, we're just gonna play this guy. Say okay. Um, if we pair with this, they don't block. They take seven. If we pair with this, and they don't block, they take eight. But this makes this guy not just terrible. Oh, wow, they just took seven? That's a lot. Pastrami is the most sensual of all the meats. God, I don't even think that's I don't even think that's false. That sounds accurate. I mean they have to have like Varaska's contempt for this guy block here, right? Which makes me wish I played the stupid vanishing light. I think we're just getting in there with this guy. Because it still forces them to Silverblade Paladin here. Yeah, same thing. It's the same thing. I guess we could have actually played this first and attacked with the elemental. That would have been better. But then they can kill this guy, and I really don't want them to kill this guy. So, I don't know. Okay. This is all fine. We got a B light. Dang it. Where the friggin' lands in this deck? One, two, three. Now we're just getting rid of this dude. So they go block, block, and they take five. Or they can double block here. None of these seem great. I guess we can just attack with this guy and we can trade Thorlinton. That's totally fine. Yeah, I'll trade this free token for a Thorn Lieutenant. It is turn 8. We've missed 4 land drops so far. It's pretty brutal. I don't think we can lose this game if we... Yep, that's that's super cool. Don't think we can lose this game if we uh, just actually hit our land drops, but... Oh! <laughs> oh my god, if we get the Windmost Lamp Tristani next turn because we finally hit a 5th land? Come on. Just let it be one time. Making the dudes downtown walking fast. Can I get my throne lieutenant back? That'd be sick. Thank you. Eldest Reborn, I'll sacrifice uh, this guy. That does not seem very exciting here. 
Come on, land into Sun Titan. Oh, there we go. Now we're living the dream. That's probably game. Because we just get Voice of Resurgence and or Tireless or Silver Blade or literally, literally any card in our graveyard except for one. Um, Silver Blade make. So they're gonna block the Thorn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's get Thalia. It's two less damage, but it also prevents them from having blockers next turn. Okay, we just win the game. So, that's pretty cool. Um, Rexage is kind of good against Eldest Reborn, maybe? Staff of Nin is good against their. Uh... Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna submit like this. How many lands do we have? Seventeen. A very reasonable seventeen. Rexage gets guys. Oh yeah, it does. They do have the thing. Yeah, we'll just put him in. Yeah, they do have. The Reds of Disloyalty. Um, I'll keep this. We need another white source. Always with the other white source. Phyrexian Metamorph seems good, though. Second white would be just phenomenal. Well, biscuits. Well, that's unfortunate. Planes. <sighs> Come on, really? I just don't get to play anything on turn three because I can't hit a third land in our 17 land deck okay well I guess that's fine I'm sure we'll win this game the one thing I can play and I'm sure they'll counter to kill it but you know we tried we tried. He died. He's in the garbage can. Our opponent doesn't have that many. I guess they have five now. Four. Hmm. All right, let's do it. Oh, we're doing it. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Wow, they just repealed that dude? Okay. And they overpaid for it because I guess they thought it cost one. Alright, let's 
make another one. Hmm. That's pretty good. I think. What do I know? This guy's a knight, though. I'm in the drive through about to eat this impossible White Castle bird. God, I hate you so much. But I love you. But I hate you. I mean, maybe they just have nothing, right? Oh, they didn't have nothing. Oh god, it's almost like I can't, I just like there's no lands in the deck. Turn 7, missed 3 land drops again. I don't understand it. I mean, we're just hoping to dodge, like, board wipe, I guess. This guy a knight? This is a human warrior. If this tastes like Dookie, I'm gonna hate you too. Have you not tried the Impossible the Impossible Burgers from White Castle? Red, red. Oh god, this is so much mana. Hour of devastation. <laughs> Fucking Christ! <laughs> it never ends, man. Oh good, five drop, five drop, three green. It never ends, dude. I think there's literally like three cards in the deck I can't cast. I think it's like Sun Titan, this guy, and one other card that I just can't cast at this point. And we hit the one of the three. Staggering. At least you aren't on 16 lands. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, we can metamorph that? Oh, that sounds gas. Give me a green. Give me a green land right off the top. That's literally the opposite of what I asked for. Why can't I hit it? I don't think you know how noxious Gear Hulk works. <laughs> Lol, wrong card. Oh, chat lethal. Chat lethal, guys. No, noxious Gear Hulk can kill fucking anything. It's six mana. Mm. Also, that's just not how they make black removal anymore. The black removal can hit basically anything. It looks like Ravenous Chupacabra. That card's a scumbag, but it can hit anything it wants. Dang, they just murderous cut that dude? Do I actually even want to, like, just walk into the Lava Claw Reaches here? Probably. Oh, God. This one. The odds of hitting a 2-drop is very, very high. That's a good one to hit. Tithe Taker might even be better, actually, because it can block things and... Like, they have to kill it twice. 
Because, like, I don't think they can kill Tithe Taker and also pump enough mana into this guy to kill our Vivian, so I'm just fine with getting aggressive here. How are you going to cut a Gear Hulk with a knife? Okay, that didn't do anything. They have two cards, but they're not, like, doing anything here. Five mana? They just go, like, interesting. Steal Vivian Reed. Are they just going to plus Vivian Reed for us? What? That's really strange. That was a good one. Uh, Corsair seems great here. If we hit a land, we did not hit a land, so Corsair is actually terrible right now. We're actually really bottlenecked on green here. Yeah, if we hit a land, like I was just hoping we hit a land there, but we didn't. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sure. Wow, if only this Thalia was on board instead. Literally the next card. So, like, if we hit one deeper with Vivian. Yeah, we're definitely bringing Dismember now. If I could just... Actually, I feel like if we, um... If we were able to get a deck where we didn't actually just, uh... Not get mana screwed every single game. I think we'd actually have something going for us here. I don't know, man. Hard to say. Hard to say. I mean, they didn't. They upped Vivian to try to find their combo piece. Like. Stealing Vivian and then getting a free impulse out of it when you're looking for literally Kiki Jiki. Seems good. Well, here we go again. <laughs> I can't I can't even handle it. Also, the funny thing is they could steal Vivian with the last Zealous Conscript trigger and then make an, em an emblem. So their creatures get plus two, plus two, and Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible. Oh my god, look how, look how good at this game we are. Kind of. A little bit. Oh, I think they tried to kill that, but then they were like, oh wait, the literal ability on the card prevents me from doing that. I'm going to Florida in two months and again in January. I hope you enjoy your trip, buddy. Okay. We are living the dream. Is it charm? This guy. Oh. Create a plant. I mean, I'm sure they're going to go kill Thalia EOT. And here you Nimble Obstructionist the Activation. Okay. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's try again.
I mean, if they end up killing Thalia, then we get to play Vivian Reed, which is super nice. Fencer? Fencer is real good. Impossible Burger, pretty legit. Nice. Seems good. Well, okie dokie. Sellus Conscript. Shriek Maw? See, this is a creature we're not going to copy. That's pretty okay. Wow, that was also nice because that would have been a terrible hit as well. Let's Collected Company. And, wow, that's incredible. <laughs> well, I guess that's, uh, that's, that's the way it goes, I guess. That was incredible. That was absolutely amazing. Zero creatures and six cards. Well, I guess we had Sun Titan, so I'm glad that's on the bottom of the library. <laughs> Interesting. How many hits in your graveyard? Two. Literally two creatures in the graveyard. Oh, well, I mean, as far as... Um, Sun Titan? Sun Titan, three hits. Collected Company, there are two creatures that would have been hit if they were in the deck still. So. Well, I guess they're going to kill Nissa. Oh, they just went to Vivian Reed? So I get. Oh, that's nuts. That's really not... Wow, look. Oh, they have found all the friggin' creatures. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to play Tristani. I guess we're not going to play anything else. No, I guess we're going to play Metamorph. One, two, three, four. So, so we're going to have three left over. Um, We might just play Voice here. Or Thorn Lieutenant. Jeez. If this was the collector company hit. I mean, because I want to go Metamorph, copy uh, Shriek Maw, kill Kiki Jiki. One, two, three, one, two, three. We're taking six damage from our uh, Phyrexian mana cards. All right. We could have actually plussed it to eight, or seven rather, and tried to ultimate next turn, but I think it's just more important to try to close out this game. And it keeps us a little safer from, like, Massacre Worm, now that they have three black. Incinerate the Shriek Maw. Okay.
Sure. A copy shriek mom, okay. So, let's look again. Turn around, bright eyes. I'm actually just going to take the Tithe Taker here because we can play Tithe Taker. Now their three drop spells are turned off. Play Tristani. And I think this should be really good for us. Put some counters on some things. Now you have to block here, so that's fine. And then you take six, you go to two, and our board is pretty good. I mean, if they have like damnation or something, it's really bad. And all right, we did it. We did it. Yeah, we went co we went collected company, uh, completely whiff into like the best next eight cards for a collected company ever. I will play first. Oh yeah, look at this. We can cast all these cards. Oh my god, it's a Christmas miracle. We're going to start with the forest in case we in case we draw like a green source steel leaf champion. I don't want to be left with uh, no way to cast that dude. Of course, I guess we're not going to not play a two drop because of that. So we're always going to be playing the planes anyway, but Come on. Not great, Bob. Turn around, bright eyes. This is not, I mean, this is not a super easy pick. I have two two drops and two three drops. Yeah, tireless tractor. Try tireless tracker to be clear was definitely the pick. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Really? Why was that a hard pick? I don't understand what took so long then. If this is a selfless spirit, I'd be much, th much more thrilled. Condemn. Can I get condemned again? Can a dude get condemned again? Oh boy. Okay, well, they missed a land drop. Oh, I kind of want to just get rid of that, because, like, you know what, dude? People do this to me so frequently, and you thought season duress me. Like, I ain't going to feel bad about this. Oh, dang it. 
Oh, biscuits. Nothing, huh? I don't think this is going to be like a murderous cut. Oof, so went to seven. Thorn's ability cost is six. It's pretty high. It's going to be a lightning helix. That's what I was afraid of. Oh, and you're going to kill this guy with murderous cut? Wow. Oh, fatal push. Sure. Well, that was a solid series of plays. Just gonna keep playing lands. Like I have no reason to sandbag lands here. What's the thorn's ability cost? You're messing with the thorn. You mess with the bull, you get the thorn. You know how it goes. Oh, that's a good hit. I mean, we're gonna whiff for sure, but you know that's okay. We'll EOT that bad boy. Yep, that's a thing, all right. All right, here we go. One card. Wow, Collective Company is actual shit in this cube. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, one Olivia Voldaren, and we are done, guys. We are done. They block here or here. They take three. And then they can, like, literally just pick off all of our guys next turn. That's pretty cool. That was actually the worst. That's unbelievably bad. Could have been Steel Leaf Champion. Could have been Thalia. Could have been other Thalia. Could have been Corsair of Crufix. Yep. Oh, we should have actually activated that. Yeah, that was terrible. Now we just pumped their Olivia for no reason. And we let them keep all their cards in their grave. I'm just, we're just done. We're not going to beat an active Olivia. Yep, that's cool. <sighs> that's so frustrating. It's just comical with like how many two drops we have. Like, what do we have left in our deck? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had nine two drops left in our nine nine hits left. Maybe that's not enough. I don't know. I mean, their deck is also mono removal, so. Mono removal <laughs> disruption. Thalia does seem good here, but they're going to Thought Seize it, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, they didn't do it. Wow. What a time to be alive. That's pretty good. All right, well... Here comes Fatal Push, and then we get to play History Benalia. That seems good. Oh. No Fatal Push. Cool, cool, cool. All the damsels in your grand cavalier. Sure. Three mana Dread Boar. Let's go history here. 
Because next turn if we get a land, we can play Silverblade and Thorn. We did not hit a land. I mean, Silverly is probably just going to die. I have to assume they have at least one piece of removal for this. So I'm tempted to just put two guys on the board. So if you got the damnation slash languish slash sweltering suns slash boros signet slash oh my hmm land would have been nice here but Does K Command hurt? What does K Command do here? Like they kill this, make us discard, but that's like really the only option here, right? And then they still take 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so. Braska's Contempt puts them to 2. Oh, they could get rid of this guy with a brass with a non lightning helix. Yeah, seems good. No, not lightning helix. Christ. Oh, how is this real? Yep. If only Tireless Tracker was in play. Four clues. Wow. Settle the wreckage. <laughs> How about Frexia Metamorph off the top? <laughs> That'll do. I accept. Oh god, yes. One, two, three. And Steely Boy. It's funny because I feel like this is the this is the best this is probably like up there with it with like one of the best possible collected company decks you could have. And um like we're still pretty far behind here. I mean like they have two cards. We have a tireless tracker. And we have a Gavany Township on board, which is not nothing. They could start getting in there with Shambling Man if they have nothing but... They have one card. Of 
Enforcer. Tracker. Lando. What is it going? This is your last card? Colagon's command and return noxious Kirok. <sighs> Boy. <laughs> nice last card. God, they just never don't have it. It's exhausting. I'm exhausted. Now they get to go Courser, we have a 2-1, and they have a 5-4 all of a sudden, along with their Shambling Vent. Felt really good when I had, like, Steel Leaf Champion, Tireless Tracker, Courser of Crewfix going on here. And then... Nothing. Wall of Omens. I mean, I guess, ideally, there's a chance we can draw, like, Phyrexian Metamorph next turn, or Sun Titan would be great. I don't know if we've shuffled since then, though. Actually, it wasn't that? That was like last game. All the games were running together, for sure. Power toughness. Also, obviously, toughness. Wouldn't want you to have less than 15 life. Less than 17 life, I guess. Maybe they say no. <laughs> I'll decline. Okay. I mean, all things considered. Alright, now I feel great about holding this. <laughs> That's fantastic. The swings, ladies and gentlemen, the swings. God, they're so real. Shambling vent coming at me? Indeed. This is an easy trade. Get this dude off the board. Until they go Lightning Helix. You have to be kidding me. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. I, I'm like, my, I. Mm. Just incredible. <laughs> Stop simulationing yourself. Well, They top deck to languish, in case you guys didn't see.
I top decked a forest. Yeah, I should have held the forest too. I just want to die. I just want them to like kill me so I can be done with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. There's like five lands left in our deck. Should have should have paid four life three times. Yeah, I really I really dropped the ball there. I think. I guess we'll go to four. Boy, I sure hope I can draw one card that can save me here. Oblivion ring. I am dead inside. Well, that did not feel like a 1-2. But here we are. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'm going to go get some food before I actually uh, spiral into oblivion. And uh, hopefully you guys... Um, I really hope when I play games like that, where I hope, it's, I hope it's super obvious to you guys too, that like they're absolutely like the luckiest players alive. Because sometimes I think it's in my head. I'm like, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just completely biased, and it's really hard um, to not to like to convince yourself that like, no way, these are amazing top decks, one after the other. And um, sometimes I feel like it's in my head, so it's nice to get some validation. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow, uh, same time as usual. And uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And, um, I don't think that was, I don't think, it, I don't think it can be both confirmation bias and bad luck. I think if it's both of those, then it's, it's one or the other, right? If it is bad luck, then it's not, then I'm not, I mean, I guess I am looking for it. I'm like, well, I was looking for it. So I found it. I was looking for them to have this thing and they had it, but like me just looking for it doesn't make it appear. I don't know. It's confusing. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go eat some food. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on coolstuffinc.com, patreon.com slash franklapore, twitch.tv slash franklapore, manatraders.com. All the links and the promo codes are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.